All right, y'all, welcome back. Uh, it is a beautiful, warm day in Nebraska. It's like 70 degrees right now. I'm wearing a white t-shirt. I think this is the first time I've ever worn a white t-shirt in a single video that I've done. But the homie Paylon gave me this one. And uh, anyways, y'all, we're gonna head out and do some camping tonight. I still do not have the exhaust finished on my truck. It actually goes in tomorrow, so I have to get up really early, drive there and drop it off. Uh, but I figured I'd drive somewhere tonight so you guys could hear some of it because I know some of you guys wanted to hear more of it. Uh, and then I won't wake my entire neighborhood up at like 6.30 in the morning. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to head out and find a spot that's fairly close to where I have to be tomorrow. Uh, I'm not exactly sure yet where I'm going to go. Um, so I need to figure that out, honestly. But stopped here at the store, grabbed a beer and some food, and uh, yeah, we're just going to head out. So stay tuned, y'all. I don't know if you're ready for this. Doesn't sound too terribly bad with the windows down. The windows up at highway speeds, it is uh, deafening. So yeah, I wouldn't drive it around like this all the time, but it's not bad. All right, let's get to this. All right, y'all, well, we've made it to a spot. Kind of a bummer. Uh, I took all my fishing poles out of my truck, of course, because I've got that appointment in the morning and I didn't want the entire cab cluttered with junk, but uh, I didn't go deaf on the way out here, so that's good. Uh, need to get the truck popped open and my stuff set up. We've got a little fire pit here. I will probably use that. Got some trash and stuff to pick up. Uh, yeah. Just gonna be a chill night. I've got something interesting, kind of interesting to cook tonight. A different beer to drink and yeah, should have left one fishing pole in the truck. That was dumb, but I wasn't sure if I was gonna end up at a lake or not. Oh well, it's gorgeous out here. Been a, probably been a couple of weeks before I since I camped in here. Let me see if I can give you guys uh, so you can actually see me. Yeah, it's been a couple of weeks since I've camped in here, uh, but I've been trying not to drive this thing since it is so loud. Obviously, got a bunch of junk with me, all clothes because it might get cold. Let me get my thermometer out here. Currently inside, it is 82. My other thermometer, which is at like the tailgate bed, says 78, but we'll get that other one set outside so we can get an accurate reading of the temps. Probably the 
one of the nicest days of the year so far. Um, still need to grab a bag. I've got a bunch of junk in my backpack that I need to put back in here. Headlamps and lights and whatnot. But we're basically set up. These windows open. Ooh, you know what I did forget though? That I might actually want later is my fan for the window. Uh, that is still in the garage. I guess I do have a little one in here somewhere, maybe. Do I still have that one? Yeah. Well, I've got a tiny little fan that I can run off the battery pack. It does have an internal one, but I'm guessing it's dead. Yeah, maybe I'll get that on the charger now for later, but uh, for now, we're just gonna hang out, y'all. Well, one trash bag full. Uh, I could keep going probably, but that's what I've got. Gorgeous out here. Um, oh, hey, this is probably the first time you guys have seen that tattoo since I got it done. Speaking of which, that's who did it. Uh, turned out really well. Hopefully, I can get back down there at some point this year and get the other side of the leg finished up, get this whole thing done. But yeah, chilling. Uh, definitely not going to put the awning out. Uh, I enjoy the sun, but I know some of y'all don't think I use it enough. but feels nice why would I put the why would I put the awning out right now I am dumb for not bringing a fishing pole with me oh well all right guys well uh, the Sun is starting to go down so I need to get a fire started but I've been hanging out with Brad Brad drove through and stopped by he watches the content so he stopped by and said hello we've We've drank a couple beers. I've, I've always said in the videos, if you ever see me out somewhere, stop and hang out and uh, I'll offer you a beer. And so we've been exchanging some stories and having a good time. And I've been petting in his dog, which has been a great time. But I need to get myself a fire going quick. So I'm going to do that while we're hanging out. And uh, eventually we'll get some dinner on too. But let's go ahead and get this thing started quickly. We've got a couple pieces of wood out here. Can you see the fire pit? Yep. You shoot a puppy. All right, let me grab a fire starter. Just think. <laughs> oh, buddy. Oh, my God, you're going to knock me over. <laughs> That's not a piece of wood. I don't want that in your tire. Oh my god. Jesus. Steel rod. It's a nail. Oh my god. That's a nail. Oh, what the heck they burned to had one of them in there. You see, there's a bunch of wood chips in there. Ground down a bunch of wood chips pretty quickly. Take your stick you were chewing on, pup. <laughs> Can't have that one back. The weekdays are the best. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday night. Tuesdays, a lot of people will stay on a Monday and they'll leave. And stuff. The laws are put in place like technically you can't film in the grass at the park. It's a commercial filming job. Great talking to you. All right, thank you. Yeah.
Well, it was great talking to you, man. Uh, I gotta let this fire burn down a little while before we get to cooking on here. It's gonna be completely dark by the time I cook, I'm sure, but that's all right. Uh, I guess I, I drank a couple Coors Lights with Brad there, but I did grab a fancy beer for dinner tonight and we'll get started with that since we got a few a few minutes before that fire is ready to cook but uh yeah it's always good talking to people uh, it's always great meeting subscribers i grabbed a fosters and i have had fosters on the channel at least one time couldn't tell you what video it was in but we've got ourselves a fosters here and uh these are big beers so this is Australia's famous bar, bar brand? There we go. See ya. Yeah. Always awesome talking to you guys. Um, so Foster's, Australian for beer. I remember the commercials. I don't know if you guys do, uh, but we'll see if I can read it. It's already getting pretty dark out here. Maybe I can't read this. It's getting old, my eyes don't work. Over 125 years old ago, during the I can't ooh, smoke's getting me. Try that again. Over 125 years ago, during the summer of 1888, the Foster Brothers gave the thirsty people of Melbourne their first taste of true refreshment. And we have a Foster's here. I don't know what kind of oh this is brewed in the USA, so this is not imported. And I'm cold. I had to put a hoodie on. Ooh, I'm getting the chills. Uh, we've got ourselves a Foster's. Australian for beer. Should probably just grab my... Grab my... Uh, yeah, you can't see me at all. All right, let me grab some lights. Hopefully they're still halfway charged. I've got this one picked up this lantern the other day. There we go. That'll work. It's a cheap lantern from my local Menards. And like I said, it's really cheap. I think it was $15, but it's rechargeable. And that's a big deal to me. It's got a couple settings. There you go. It works all right. It's bright enough for a $15 lamp. Celebrated worldwide, but we're about to celebrate it. Cheers, everybody. Can you hear the coyotes out there? Oh, the fire's still going. Y'all, uh, I don't think I'm going to cook out here tonight gotten dark and it's starting to get chilly so I think I'm gonna head into the truck well I need to grab my food tote we'll cook in the truck tonight uh, should be pretty easy to do but yeah let's get after that chilly close the windows a little bit it's uh it's 52 degrees in here and 50 degrees outside if i don't think you guys can see that at all i guess it doesn't really matter uh shut these windows a little bit i am going to throw some pajama pants on because it was getting chilly outside all right Change into my pajamas. Keep that hood up. I'll grab my cup. I still got a lot of beer in here. I've been nursing this one. Uh, and since it's 24 ounces, I bet I can still fill this cup up. Uh, it's just a, looks like a light beer, y'all. Can't say that I've ever seen it outside of the can. Oop, can we get it all in there? Perfect. All right, 
finish up this Foster's. It's probably, it's still fairly cold. Cold enough to enjoy. Uh, so while I grab my grill out of here, uh, and my skillet, tonight we're gonna do some uh, Spam and eggs. So I've got some hot and spicy Spam, a couple of eggs, and some other junk to go inside of it, but it should be pretty tasty. So he's such a setup back here. I better still have propane. I probably should have put this away. I better still have propane under my bed. I suppose that can sit up here for now. Uh, yes. Propane, propane. like it's been forever since I've cooked in here. Probably has been, I don't know. It's been a while since we've been in the truck. Uh, so I actually, we did the headers on the truck before the hammock camp video came out. So that one came out kind of out of order. I usually don't do that, but I was trying to hold that space and not go forever without the truck. Should have done this the other way, like a normal person probably would. Dang old dang. Keep those windows open. We're just gonna need the burner, so nothing too crazy in here. junk out of here. Well, do I have oil in here somewhere? Let's hope. Unprepared as usual. Just a little bit of this. Really ain't gonna need much. Probably honestly didn't really need any. Plate and silverware here. Yeah, you guys can see what I'm doing. So hot and spicy spam. I've never seen this. Uh, every time I go into a store and I manage to see the or like walk past the spam, I always look for a different flavor. Uh, and I had never seen this in store before, so I figured I'd give this one a shot. We'll go ahead and throw some of these slices of this on there before we get crazy with anything else. I don't need to take all of that out of there. Let's see if we can do it with a knife. Get some slices out of there, maybe. Oh, look at that. Just came right out. Eh, it'll be plenty of that. Oh, you know what I don't have? Any paper towels. Sweet. I think I took them out of here uh, and threw them on my motorcycle for that last video. So I don't have any of that, which kind of sucks, but is what it is. A 
I'll let this fry up a little bit on both sides and then I'll kind of chop it up in the pan. Uh, that'll be the easiest way to get it all browned up nicely. I better get these open. Uh, so after I add the eggs in here, I'm gonna throw these in. These are hatched green or yeah, hatched ice green chilies. I'm gonna toss that whole can in there. I need to get that opened up. And did I put my dang, huh? have one in here I've got a couple of can openers and they're probably all spread about maybe it's in one of these Nah, it's gonna kind of suck because I don't know if I have my multi-tool with the can opener on it ah can opener pretty sure this is Travis's can opener that I have here in there. All right. I do not have a trash bag ready to go. Crap. Uh, do I have any bags in here? Yes. There we go. <coughs> go open that up. Open the back window. All right, we got a couple eggs in our little egg holder dealy here. This was sent into the P.O. box, so. Uh, just doing two eggs. Probably should have grabbed three eggs, but two will be all right. No paper towels. Let's go ahead and just toss this whole gar whole thing of chilies in there. Yeah. Alright. Oh, that smells great. What do I have in here for spices? I got a little slappy mama sitting right there. So we'll put some of that on there. Because the eggs didn't have anything. Good liberal amount. Yeah. Lost a chili. Hot. What am I going to wipe this pan out with? I guess I do have one rag in here. We'll be good. If it comes down to it, I've probably got some napkins from drive throughs in the glove box up there. But yeah, I should always have a backup roll of paper towels in here and I don't right now. Yeah, I'd say that's probably done. My tortillas fit in the skillet. I could probably get a tortilla in there, warm it up. I'll just go ahead and get this all out of here then. Hot pan. in there maybe a couple seconds on each side should do it do the trick mm, this smells really good soak up a little bit of that grease and chili juice and now I don't have a plate to hold it over or anything 
genius. We'll just use this as our plate, I guess. Give it another second. All right. I really, really would like to have a plate, but it's okay. Dirty grill for a plate. How about that? Uh, we've got enough for a couple of small burritos. Two burritos is always better than one burrito, you know what I'm saying? We've got some cheese here. This is finely cut sharp cheddar. That's what I had in the fridge. Throw a little bit of that on there. And then grabbed another bottle of hot sauce out of the basement. And this is from the Alice Cooper collection of bottles that was sent in. So I've tried one of these before. I don't remember the flavor. Uh, this is Alice Cooper Poison, hot red, hot reaper hot sauce. And it says on here, my pain, your thrill. Your mouth is so hot, the intense heat of this sauce will put you in Alice's straight jacket. Your senses will tell you to stop when you feel the reaper chilies running through your veins with poison. Manufactured for Alice Cooper. Well, I have a feeling this is going to be a little bit spicy considering it's hot and spicy spam and I got green chilies in there. But we're just going to go ahead and send it and see what happens here. Ooh, I am really glad that lid did not, I did not shake that too much. I guess I got to taste it. It's on my finger. <clears throat> Tell you what, I'm glad I tasted that because that's spicy. <laughs> We're not going to use a ton of that stuff. Ooh. We'll get ourselves a few drops on here, but that's some spicy sauce. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine. One last one on there. Yeah. Alice Cooper sauce. That's, that's not hot. Let's try not to spill this everywhere. Little breakfast burrito for dinner. Spam burrito. That's tasty. Let's see what the spam's about. I wouldn't call it hot and spicy, but it's got some good flavor to it. The whole thing of green chilies in here. Very good. Very, very good. Four ounces of green chilies. Yeah. All right, burrito number dose. Man, I wish I would have brought another uh, couple of eggs. I got one tortilla left. I could have definitely ate three of these. It's still warm. It ain't, ooh, it's hot when you touch it with your wrist. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Not really hot enough to do much to this, though, I don't think. At least heat it up a little bit. Yeah, it's going to be hard to wash any kind of dishes without any paper towels. It's all right. It'll be okay. Not everything works out perfectly. This did. The hot sauce, uh, it's good on here. Like, I could put more on. Straight, that stuff's hot. But I could definitely toss a little bit more than I did last time on. Try not to lose too much much stuff here. And I've got some spam left. All right. That's a saucy burrito with this i think this one might might get me mm. 
There's the hot sauce. Ooh, I can taste that now. Yep. I got enough of it on there this time. That is pretty spicy. It's got a, it's got a, like a smoky flavor to it. It says it has lemon extract in it also. One, one teaspoon per serving. I, I don't know if I hit that on this one. Well, you can taste it. Probably twice as much on this burrito as the last burrito. Mm. Mm. Whew. Well, that second one definitely had a lot more kick to it. Uh, but I got to get this stuff cleaned up a little bit. What do I have? I got one rag in here. I've been using this to wipe the windows down when they get gets like too humid in here. So I'm at least going to try to wipe these things off and I'll have to take them in the house to wash them, but I don't want to put it away that dirty. Although I don't know where I'm going to put this after it gets dirty. Sweet. I don't think I have any other rags in here. Ooh, there we go. I got one right there. I got a couple. Those are like throwaway rags. That's what we needed. Maybe just one. We'll use that instead of this one. All right, y'all, I've got everything cleaned up. Uh, and I let it get entirely too late. It's after midnight. It's 12.03. So technically, you're going to see this video today. Uh, because I'm going to edit this once I get home and put it out today. So you're going to see the day of the video the same day I'm filming it. Um, but yeah, I got to get up at six in the morning and make my way. Well, six in the morning, probably make some coffee and then make my way back into town and drop my truck off. Uh, my wife's meeting me there to pick me up. So uh, I've got to be on time and empty some of this junk out of there. So it's not all in the truck, but I'm going to just finish my beer here and then I'm going to get headed to bed should be a nice night in here considering the temps it's 45 outside I think that's probably the low tonight I guess I can give you an actual low on the forecast here 1204 yeah I'm up way too late it says the low is 46 so we're there it's not gonna get much cooler tonight and it's gonna be windy tomorrow sweet but I won't be camping, I guess. I'll be editing. It's one of those days. I'm going to have to get up and pee in like half an hour. 24 ounces of one beer is a lot of beer. I tell you what. All right, y'all. It's like the perfect time to go to bed since I just ate. I got a full gut. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys in the morning. Oh. Where's my light switch? Uh. My alarm just went off. Six oh five in the morning. Oh, yeah, I definitely stayed up too late. I can see my breath in here. Don't feel that bad. They got colder outside than they they were. They said it's thirty seven degrees out. Forty four degrees in here. These both these windows are cracked just a little bit, and that one's open, but. Yeah, it's a little bit colder than they said. That's for sure. Be able to buy it inside though. Oh man. Oh. Make myself a cup of coffee. Hit the road, it's still completely dark outside. One sunrise. This says for temperature. That's weird. This says it's 47 degrees. 
Maybe it's 37 because I'm down in a valley and I'm right next to a lake. That kind of shows you the effect uh, what lakes have on the air and the temperature right around them. Because, yeah, many times it's colder around a lake. Sunrise is at 6.55 a.m. So I'll be catching the sunrise on the drive, that's for sure. Well, now I can hear birds chirping out there. Yeah, the sun is definitely going to be coming up pretty quick here. I'm not going to... I picked one of these up for the hike, a small bottle, because I didn't have a small one anymore. This one's still got a little bit in it. But that's not fit inside the bottle. Uh, we're just going to keep using this one for now. Fuddled on this early morning. Uh, one for me, one for you. Perfect measurement. It's getting warm out again, although we've got a like a cold streak coming today. It's supposed to be 83 degrees here. Uh, but like Saturday, the high is only 57, so it's going to drop back down a little bit. But our temperatures are looking pretty decent from here on out. Are we boiling? Almost. So I think within the next week or so, we'll have a have to see if we can get that boat started. I did not use it last year. They are boiling. I know it's probably going to be a difficult boat to get started again. Uh, but what do you do? Alright, coffee is on. Give that a few minutes and see how it turns out. Coffee is done. Oh, I better shut those lights off. Genius. Now that you can't see me, there we go. It's gotten light enough out here. Oh wow, it's foggy. Can you see the fog on the lake? It's really foggy over there. There's a guy camp right there. He's probably gonna be pretty bummed when I start my truck up. <laughs> All right, I gotta put my chair away from last night. guys we've made it to the shop I am at pro muffler service and of course there's a trade going by uh, this shop was recommended by Brock so they're gonna have it for the day and uh, 
I guess in the next video you guys will see how it sounds. But my wife has come to grab me uh, this morning. Dang old Nebraska trains, I tell you what. <laughs> howdy, howdy. I'm leaving that in the video. Hopefully they heard it. She just called me a sloot cake. <laughs> Anyways, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a good time camping last night. It was great to meet Brad. And the Spam burritos were pretty tasty too. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit. Anything you want to say? Have a good day.